No. Why? No. Oh, come on, uh, Lucan. Why? Why won't it work? Because I told you about seven times it will trigger something called the Fey Aura Effect. I... I Lucan, all I'm asking you to do is no. create... No! It won't work! Human, I'll explain this to you because Abenor seems to be evidently struggling to understand this. I cannot create a portal into Titania's garden and then create another portal here. It will trigger something called the Fey Aura effect. Well, imagine my portals like a window. A window to a nice warm house. If I was to create a portal into Titania's garden and here, it would be like opening the window of my house to a Force 9 winter storm. All the warmth and uh, magical energy that I had in the house would disappear out of the window, and in would come the coldest winter you would ever have known inside your house. That is what the Fey Aura effect essentially is. All of Titania's magics that she uses to not just preserve her flowers and plants, but also keep dark-hearted creatures out, in including me. What? What do you mean? Abenor, I am one of the creatures that Titania considers a dark-hearted creature. I'm a witch. But the goblins! The goblins managed Titania to... Titania doesn't consider them dark-hearted. She just... She just considers them stupid. Stupidly ignorant. And besides, they're still fey creatures. Mamorga is not technically a fey creature. And... Neither am I. And in Titania's eyes, anything that doesn't fit her very strict criteria about what classes as a dark-hearted creature does not get in her garden. I would be expelled from my own house if I was to create a portal from Titania's garden to here. All right. All right. Do you understand now? Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> I'm going to have to think of something else. Oh, you have a plan now, human. Oh, this ought to be good. Go ahead. Hmm. W would it work, Luke? Um. Yes. Y yes, I think I think so. All right, human. That's a that's a brilliant idea. If we create a portal just in front of the human gate, and then make the other portal into Titania's garden, it would keep Mamorga from accessing the human realm. It's a good idea, human, and it would work. However, there is another problem. Well, at the moment, Mamorga cannot enter the human realm anyway. He hasn't got the wherewithals. The, the wherewithals to, to what? Well, magic. He still needs magical essence in order to gain access to the human realm. Uh, that's why he's interested in your face, human. The human's face. Look, it isn't just a mindless collection he's trying to get. The faces that he collects gives him energy, magic, power. And a human? Oof. <laughs> what? Y human... Humans are pretty magical. You didn't know this? Oh, yes. Humans have a very powerful magic. Ah, but that's the thing, human. Even with your face, I doubt even Mamorga would still have the magical energy to essentially transcend realms. Well, is there anything that he could use? The face of uh, some kind of magical creature? I don't know. He would need to use the face of something very, very powerful. Something like a dragon or... A unicorn. Uh, or a unicorn, yes. Uh, how did... Wait, what? How did you know? There's a unicorn in Titania's garden. I... I don't... I don't understand. What... What do you... Titania kept a unicorn 
in her garden. We, human, we need to get to Titania's garden now. What, what do you mean? Uh, Mamorg is in front of the human realm portal? Even if he gains access to the gate, he still won't have the magical energy without something powerful. You said it yourself. This... This was his plan. 24 hours until I come for the human. That's That's what he told me. And all the time I've been trying to protect you, he was really after the... The unicorn, my, the... Faye, I was such a fool. Titania's garden was left completely undefended. This was his plan. He was probably planning this the moment he found out there was a human in the Fey realm. Ah! Oh. Lucan, you need to send us to Titania's garden now. All right, all right. I'll just have to vacate somewhere then. Uh, all right. Just be careful, you two. I I'll try and attempt your plan, human. It actually was pretty good. Uh, um, but uh, just be careful of the fate aura effect. It's It sounds a lot less than it actually is. Good luck, you two. Ha janase, ha loko fethu maki. Tur maki thoro maki. Arthum Titania's garden ahead. All right, Lucan. You better vacate. Yes, I agree. Quickly go through it before I get ejected from my own house. Come, human. Let's go. garden. Huh. Never thought we'd be back here. Wait. Something's wrong. Can't you feel it? Something in the air is wrong. It's as if the magic itself has... It's not as... Yes, sort of like that. It feels like a hot summer day and the sun is shining on your face and then it suddenly goes behind a cloud. It's still a hot day, but something feels wrong. Come on, let's see if we can find Titania. Maybe she can help us. My lady Titania? My queen? Titania? Your Majesty? Are you there? It's me, Abanor. We're here to help you. Is that... There she is. Oh no. It's the unicorn. I... I think it is dead human. Come on, let's see if we can help. Your... Your Majesty? What... What happened? Mamorga... He not only killed the unicorn, but he channeled off all its magical essence. We may as well be a dead horse now. Why? I don't understand. Why would he go after the unicorns? Because of the human. But because of the human? You may not believe it, human. But your kind have powerful magic within you. So powerful that in the days of old, my husband Oberon and I sealed ourselves away to protect ourselves from it. It was too open to corruption. As the face dealer discovered the hard way. He knows that the only way he can restore himself and break the aggressive curse upon him is to acquire an untold amount of fame magic. The unicorn must be to cross the barrier to the human realm for himself. 
I'm afraid that's just the start, Your Majesty. Which? How oh, did, did you enter, enter my God? God? Please, your, your Majesty, I, I mean you no harm, honestly. I came to warn you. Speak quickly, quickly then. then. Warn us. Momorga is using the unicorn's essence not only to help him enter the human world, but also but also to destroy Oberon as he does it. No! The disruption to Oberon's sleep has already begun. Why do you think a witch was able to enter your garden? It's a lot worse than I thought it was, Abenor. Did you ask what happens then? What happens, human? This concept of nature in your world would have fundamentally altered forever. World will be plunged into an endless winter. Forests will wither and die. Herbivore animals will turn to eating flesh. In short, nature will be destroyed. Human Oberon is the king of the Fey, and one of, if not the most, powerful magical being in existence. A mixture of Mamolga's corrupted evil, unicorn essence, and, well, you, he could end up... He could end the very notion of the Fey world as we know it. What, what can be done? Now that he's using unicorn essence, I... I'm... I'm not so sure. We... we we need to send this human home. We, we cannot allow him to get the rest of the magic he needs. All right, new plan. Human, go with Lucan to the portal. Momorga will know you are there, but that can't be helped. Don't worry about me, human. My Lady Titania. I've got to get to the center of the garden to Oberon's slumber. Why? Noble centaur. Because it's time to awaken him. No, you cannot. He is to be awoken on the last day of winter, not before. Otherwise, the balance of seasons. Nature will be disturbed. Majesty, with respect, Momorga is halfway to doing it already, and I'd much rather Oberon be in charge than Momorga when everything happens. I... Well, perhaps you're right. Here. My husband's resting place is hidden here. Good luck, human. All right, human. Come. We have a lot to do. Well, we have to prepare that portal trick that you came up with for Mamorga. There isn't much of Titania's magic left. It's all being siphoned out. Mamorga must, must be too far to doing it already. Oh, we need to hurry quickly through here. Never thought I would actually be this close to the gate. Well, as I say, the magic of this realm is becoming more and more unstable by the second. If Momorga has already killed the unicorn, he's closer to his goal than we thought. But now that you're here in front of this gate, he'll know you're here. Closer than you think, Lucan. Momorga. You're here already? <laughs> Human, it's so good to see you. Come to witness my glory. 
Let's return to the human realm. Hmm. Yes, human. My return. And you see, Oberon cursed me to be this hideous beast you see before you. I was once a human too. <laughs> those were glorious days. In those days, I was known as Mordred, the illegitimate son of King Arthur and Morgan Le Fay. I tried to seek power for myself. And I sought out the Fae to grant me this power. Unfortunately, I found more than I bargained for and it corrupted my human soul. More and more I took until at last... Here I stand. A powerful demon. Ruling in hell. I believe that is how the human expression goes. Ruling in hell rather than serving in heaven. <laughs> Your face, human, is the last thing I need. I already killed the unicorn and stripped it of its magical essence. And I know all about this pathetic fey aura plan My Morgan, you can't do this. If you destroy the fey realm, the human realm will become affected. You can't just get rid of that much magical energy and expect there to be no consequence. You don't think that I already know that? But anything is better than living like this. You don't know what it is like to be constantly hungered. To constantly consume magical essence by collecting faces. This is all I have, human. The only thing I have left. If I have to destroy a world in order to go back to some resemblance of normality, then I will do it. A thousand years as this hideous, consumed, corrupted creature. You cannot imagine. What it is like. And let me tell you something else, human. If I manage to get through to that human realm, I will be something. I assure you, I will be something worthy of remembrance. I will not be just a footnote in this world. I will not be a cautionary creature in a children's book. I will be something. It's an honor. I wish I could say the same. Usually I am to be woken at the start of each season. To 
to usher in the new beginnings, to usher in new life. You, you can't be awake. It would disrupt the realm. I think that you are closer to doing that than I am. So, uh, what happens now? Do I fight you? Anything is better than living like this. I will fight you, Oberon. I will fight you to the death. I will not live like an animal anymore. A thousand years, two thousand years, every year that goes by, I feel a little of myself slipping into the oblivion of my own corruption. I will not live like this anymore. When I saw that human in that cave in my lair, I saw hope. And you, Oberon, are the only thing in my way now. I do not wish to fight you, Oberon. Good. Makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> Mamorga, your corruption has only eaten away at your heart. Like the changing of the seasons, I will bless you with new life. What are you doing? Two thousand years is a long enough punishment, even for a fay. Go now in peace. Face Stealer. And steal no more. What? What is this? What are you doing to me? I don't feel like... Like this is... What is this? I don't feel the corruption anymore. What are you doing to me? You lie. New life. Go. That was a noble thing to do, Your Majesty. Habano, my queen told me of your deeds. How you tried to help this human every step of your journey. For that you will be rewarded. You, your sister, and your clan. How... how did you know that I... Oh, please. I know everything that goes on in the Feyrell. Yes, human. I gave my a new chance. Why? I sent him to the human realm. You did what, Your Majesty? I sent him to the human realm. He was human once. His body will not be destroyed. But I removed the corruption that was eating away at his heart and soul. The corruption that he sought out those many millennia ago. As I said, Two thousand years is long enough for any soul to be punished. You are very... Uh, benevolent, Your Majesty, but don't you think that that was a little rash? Uh, what if he... What if he creates something evil again? What if he... He will not be able to gain access to the sort of magical energy he needs. And with the unicorn dead... The realm... Of the Fey will forever be unstable. Unicorns are so rare that there can only be two in existence at once. Momorga was corrupted, and the unicorn's death will cause this realm to be forever altered, and my queen will be heartbroken. 
that there shall come a time of great renewal. I will see to it. I have been asleep for many seasons, human. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Is it even possible? Can you create that much powerful new life? Please. For the last 9,000 years, I have ushered in the seasons. I succeeded from my own father when he would change the seasons and change the earth. It was I who brought real artistic flair to the natural world. I created so many creatures. <laughs> but yes, it will take time, human. Creating a unicorn is not uh, an overnight task. It will take many, many centuries. But I'm sure my queen will be fine. But I fear now, human, the time has come for you to go to. What? What? So, so soon? B but, but I... Yes, noble centaur. You had something you wished to say? I... Um... Th this is... It, it's just a lot sooner than I thought. I, I, I thought we'd have more time to to, to, to... to say goodbye, to... To... Oh, Abanor, all of your feelings are given away in one fell look. <laughs> I fear your Zorathwich companion is correct, Abanor. You have had feelings for this human for some time, have you not? I... 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 Yes. I think I have. I think I have from the moment I... From the moment I saw you, human. I knew that you were special, but... I had no idea how special you would be to me. I don't... I don't want you to go. I fear the human must have an The human does not belong in this realm. As Mama Morgan can testify, humans are simply too susceptible to magical corruption. Abanor, I know that this isn't what you want to hear, and or, or you either, human, but I promise you, this is for the best. The king is right. The corruption of the Fae will... will turn you into something like Mamorga. Over the many centuries and millennia that you are here, you will just lose yourself bit by bit. It's, it's just too risky, and we love you too much for that to... to be to be compromised. Your love of your companions does you much joy and credit, human. I still sense a great sadness in all of your hearts, however. Tell me, human, who is Fossil? Thossel? Who's... Who's Thossel? Thossel was... Uh, he was a good friend. Mamorga used him as a... Well... He killed him and used it, corrupted magic to... It, it is alright. Bad sad. Human, I will send you forth into the human realm. But before you go, perhaps, perhaps I can do this one last piece of renewable magic for you. Oh! 
Oh! What? What just happened? What? Where am I? What? It was all dark. I, uh, I felt myself speaking, but 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 I couldn't. I di oh, hello, human. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Huh? I haven't felt a, a hug in quite some considerable time. Uh, this is nice. Uh, fossil. <laughs> well, I'll be. Fossil. Abanor, you long, lanky piece of... Hello to you, Fossil. Oh, hello there, Oberon. And... Uh, <coughs> Oberon? Oh, 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 I... I, I do, do, do I bow? Do I curtsy? Uh, uh, do, what do I do, uh, Abenor? What do I do? You're you're always a stickler for tradition. What do you What do you do? <laughs> I think a bow would satisfy Thussel. Oh, all right, uh, Your Majesty. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Uh, but um, what just happened to me? Uh, I remember it going dark and hearing Mamorga's uh, creepy laughter. You know that one where he goes hee 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 on the end of every every. He killed me! Human! You're speaking in tongues. Mamorga didn't kill me. How can I be standing here in front of you if... if... Uh, if I was dead? <laughs> Welcome back to the Fey Realm of the Living. Fossil. You? Your Majesty, you brought me back. Jesus, I really was dead, wasn't I? And now the human must return to the human realm. What? You bring me back just to say goodbye? What kind of sick joke is that? Human, you have found so much love in this realm. And I really wish that I could allow you to stay. But in order to protect you from the corruption, I would need to stay away for eons. And in the meantime, the seasons would not come to pass. For my slumber issues in new beginnings. The turning of the years. And if you were to stay, I would not be able to sleep. Human. Do as he says. Of course I don't... Of course I don't want you to go. But I know... That in my heart, you will... You will always remain in my heart. I will not... Forget you... Ever. I fear that is not possible. Human. Uh, human... Uh, you know how I talked about uh, the complexities of Fey magic? Time passes differently in the Fey realm. You may think that you have been gone for days, but you've only been gone for minutes in your realm. Yes. It will be just a few minutes uh, since you accidentally, you know, entered the Fey. That's how the time works. You have to realize, human, that by the time you even manage to, if you should manage, to even find your way back, we will all be old. Some of us may not even be around anymore. Well, I don't necessarily have that problem. But I do. Centaur's age, human. And look at me. I will never forget you. Nor I. I will always be trying to, trying to see you, human. Because uh, well, leprechauns are uh, one of the only creatures that can actually freely reign within the, uh, within the, within the human realm. 
Oh, sure, we use the gate all the time. <laughs> Abenor will never find out. Oh, right. Hmm. It might be nice if Fossil can be our go-between. I can be your go-between. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not giving any saucy messages between you two. What? I didn't mean anything. Oh, never mind. It's okay, human. We'll be fine. We'll keep in regular contact. Ah, uh, maybe uh, it's the least I can do for being, you know, brought back to life. <laughs> Good boy, human. Uh, I wish we, <laughs> I wish we could have a little cozy catch up. But I'll find you. I'll find you in the human realm, and we'll have a nice cozy catch up then. You can tell me all about my, uh, well, death. <laughs> By the way, where is the big snaky basket? He turned him human. My Morga was... My Morga was human? Well, I'll be. Oh, tell me all about it when I seek you out, human. We've got a lot to catch up on. Goodbye, human. I've only known you a short time. And yet... I'm glad that I met a friend like you. You'll do fine. I'm not sure if... Uh, normal magic can transcend dimensions. I know some certain Zorath magic can. But I'm not sure... Even a basic spell like this will get through. But I'll give it a go anyway. Lakaromai. <sighs> Lakaromai. Lakaromai. It is a luck spell. It will protect you and give you luck in the human realm. I really wish things could be different for you, human. My wife told me that you were kind for a human. I will bless you and your life as much as I can with the changing of the seasons. May they bless your life the rest of your human years. It is no problem, child. Go in peace. There is far too much I want to say. So, I'll just tot it down to just one, one act. Goodbye, human. I'll never forget you. We'll keep in regular contact through Thussel, I promise. I've never known a human before you. But if all humans were like you, I don't understand how the human realm could be so corrupted. Goodbye, human.
excuse me, you all right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I just... I, I saw you fall. Y you all right? Let's just uh, help you out the bush there. There you are. Are you all right? Oh, good. Name's Mort. Nice to meet you. Well, I lived here a very long time ago, but I am surprised how much things have changed. Oh, last time I was here was a very long time ago. <laughs> I have to say, uh, the ruins and the architecture have changed way too much. There used to be buildings when I, when I was here last. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a collector of sorts. You know, I used to collect little miniature figurines. Well, made of wood. Uh, there used to be a carving, but I recently moved on to collecting uh, other such things. <laughs> but anyway, it's really good to meet you. I'm sure we're going to be very good friends.